This time on Dreamspiration by Absolute, we're here with Sedanik Kastanek at Covadis in London. Welcome. Sedanik is going to create a wild tea party for us today. We have this uh, lovely uh, new flavour of Absolute, uh, which is called wild tea. So what I was thinking uh, is to uh, make a drink which combines tea and lots of different ingredients, something fresh and citrus, as we going back into the quite classic and old recipe of strong, sweet, sour of wheat. I think what I come up with was tea. Uh, combine two different teas which never really been combined together which is uh, not actual tea it's a flower type of tea it's not the camellia sinensis type of flower uh, it's uh, rooibos tea or you can call it rosietta you can call it red tea as well so a little bit of that uh, exactly half half proportions with uh, Darjeeling tea uh, which we can find in the province in India which is called Darjeeling uh, as well uh, so, as I said, half half uh, for this combination, for this cold infusion. The reason why the cold infusion is that you don't want to get uh, loads of tannin in a tea once you put hot water in there, uh, it starts brewing and it uh, gives you loads of different flavours which you don't really want to have in your cocktail. So, nice cold water, pour it in there and uh, mix all together. I well, we have a nice Japanese tool to combine it and mix it. And once that's done, now we have to wait for like four or five hours. What should we do? Oh, five hours done. That was quite quick. That was lots of fun. So let's start it with the drink. Uh, the main actor and the start of the night, the white tea absolute. Uh, we're using a 25 ml per one serve. And as we're making a party, obviously, that's uh, is no party with one person. So we invited a few of our friends. So four measures of that, nice absolute uh, wild tea party, and then uh, you're gonna combine it with uh, beef to 24. Uh, as the other ingredients you will see I use is uh, Earl Grey tea, uh, which is farmed quite often in England for the afternoon tea parties. And the reason why I'm using that is that it's nicely combined with the uh, grapefruit zest and uh, citrus zest found in beef to 24. So as we know. Uh, the El Grey tea has a fair bit of a bergamot in it, which is an uh, Asian type of uh, citrus, so it's got loads of grapefruit style uh, zest in it or flavours. So a little bit of that to nice infuse it, because we already put it into the alcohol 40% uh, strong uh, plus. Uh, it will infuse quite quickly and uh, it will give us a fair bit of flavour straight away into it. Uh, then. As we talk about a grapefruit, there's nothing better than actually put a little bit of citrus and vitamins to it. So I freshly squeezed from the market uh, grapefruit uh, citrus uh, juice, a little bit of that. And as we were doing and dancing and going to the cinema and uh, waiting for five hours to get a cold infusion, let's use a little bit of that as well to really bring the nice sort of tea colour into it and make it uh, cold and drinkable. You just need a little bit of ice. Stir it out nicely as a martini. Uh, once it's all nice and done, uh, you're gonna serve it with the four nice cups in front of us. We have a nice little sandwich of Cuban cucumber, which is actually nice and classic. And then we can just leave it like that to serve and enjoy. Let's take some tea then. Yeah, uh, it's already nice and cold over here, so let's uh, strain up a little bit into your nice cup. Ladies first. As I said, a big measure of the absolute wild tea, a little bit of gin, which is English ingredients, and uh, not bitter, nice and sweet and quite exciting blend of teas, rooibos and, uh, and, and Darjeeling, and uh, that's what it is in this cup. Well, I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much, Sir Danik. The You're drink welcome. is amazing. You're welcome. Very exciting. Glad you like it. Thank you. Watch out next month for more Drinkspiration by Absolute.